If you've got your home defense long gun, whether it's a rifle or a shotgun, and you get into an extreme close quarter situation, a shooting while in contact situation, it's actually going to be a lot harder than if you have a pistol. And this is one of the reasons that we say to people, if you're really thinking you're going to be in a situation inside of a home where you're going to need to move, you're going to need to get family members together, you're going to do it while armed, you are probably better off with a handgun and a handgun in a holster unless you've really practiced your extreme close quarters techniques. With the handgun in the holster, you'll be able to fight someone off of you, get control, and get to your handgun. But if all you've got is a long gun, now you're in a situation where if you have this long gun extended out in any way, you come around a corner, they grab the gun, start to twist it, take it from you, you can really have a problem. And this is one of the main reasons why we never advise a high ready position. Someone comes around a corner and grabs your gun when it's in a high ready, unless you're a lot faster, a lot stronger, and a lot more skilled, you're at a huge disadvantage and you're not even going to be able to use the gun as a firearm. On the other hand, if you have a good low ready, someone comes around the corner and grabs it, well, at least you can use your torso and your momentum and your energy and any body weight you have to turn towards them and possibly even with a shot into the foot or the leg start affecting them. Now, optimally, you're not going to get into that situation. Optimally, the gun's going to be kept compressed. The stock is going to be high on your body. And as you're moving forward through your home, you keep this hand off the long gun. Maybe you're using a light. Maybe you're carrying a kid. Maybe you're just using this as a shield. Now, someone comes around the outside of this corner, someone comes through a doorway, someone was hiding in a dark corner, they get up on top of you, you can protect the long gun, fight to a position of control, fight to a position of being able to get the long gun back in close, and right here, up against your body, as far back as you can get, you can actually affect the target. Now, the trick here, you can see I have a two-point sling set up here that allows me a lot of movement. If I change this to a single-point sling, you're going to see that I have even more movement where I can move the gun even further back. And in a CQB environment, for a professional moving through a home with obstacles on either side, that's certainly what we recommend. A lot of people, however, still have a two-point setup inside of their home. That's fine. It's a great administrative position. Hang the gun, pick up the kids, move around the house, do whatever you need to do. At this point, again, I'm going to pull the gun back in. Now, even if someone does get a hold of this, I can use my torso, my body weight, my hip strength, my shoulders to control the end of this gun, to control the muzzle of the gun. I'm all the way back. I got the safety off. I'm keeping the gun in close and tight to me. I know that I'm oriented on the person. Safety's off. Now I touch and press. <laughs> and I can significantly affect that threat that's right on top of me inside of my home in an extreme close quarters situation with the long gun. Trigger Time is brought to you by Crossbreed Holsters, Drago Gear, DS Arms, First Spear, kel PNW Arms, Thunder Beast, Saber Red, Century Solutions, Delta Outdoorsman, Sport Optics, Fox Knives USA, 511 Tactical, and WW Guns.